Chua Pengki, Yun Patisa, Ichuba Jikota Naga, Ingu Mua Muni Radwana, Ingu Ani Chalot, Utong Hiswama Aki Uko Pune, Utong Hiswama Aki Uko Pune. Diskadosoki, Kofa Mono Nakachi, Labora na Winky Smackoma, Uyami Kiptong Hiswama Aki Uko Pune, Utong Hiswama Aki Uko Pune. ตองฟาโลคุนนอนเนี่ยดิสกัดโซกีก็ฟาบนนาคาชิลาโบราณาวิตองฮิตวามาอาคิอุโกตุเนะโอตองฮิตวามาอาคิอุโกตุตองฟ
but the Sith are a violent people who leave violence in their wake. I have three soldiers in the infirmary. If the Republic's soldiers were more capable, they would not have suffered such serious injuries. Are my soldiers to be punished simply because they won a fair fight? I hardly call six against three a fair fight. The Sith are cowards who attack only when they have the advantage of numbers. They were provoked, Your Honor. The Sith goaded them into this fight. I suppose your sunray's only hope. Yes, but it almost seems too heavily stacked, doesn't it? Very suspicious. I hear you've been appointed as arbiter in Sunra's trial. My husband is innocent. Please don't let him go to jail for a crime he didn't commit. Oh, Sunra is... he's a cripple. There's no way he could have overpowered the Sith woman like they claim. That's true. 
I'd forgotten about that. Let's not forget that he would have had to have been considerably older than the Sith woman. Hmm. I'm a Jedi, and one who is living alone in the Shadowlands until recently. That keeps you in shape, dammit. We're talking about Sunri here. And there's no way he would do something so dishonorable as hit her from behind. Sunri's a decorated war hero. He's a hero of the Republic. This is all a plot to discredit the Republic. Sunri is a victim of a Sith frame-up. It's possible. I haven't seen Sunri since I crashed on Kashyyyk. A man can change a lot in that time. The man I knew could never have done this crime, however. Find the real evidence. That's all I ask. The real evidence will prove Sunri didn't do this. Jolie, what are you doing here? The lore sent me, Sunri. I'm here to get you out of this mess. The courts went and made us arbiters for your case. Just like old times, eh, Jolie? You come swooping in out of nowhere to save my tail from the fire? You saved my wrinkle butt more than a few times as well, friend, if I recall. But there'll be time for catching up later. Right now, we need to focus on the case. The case is a complete frame-up. Anyone looking at the evidence could see that. Or so I thought. But the cell cast seem to think that there's... Well, that there's enough to go to trial. There aren't any witnesses. All that evidence against me is circumstantial and completely flawed. Well, I was at the hotel, I admit. And I did meet Elasa there that night, but... It's not what you think. I, uh... I was working with Republic Intelligence. We were pretending to feed information to the Sith. Well, I turned Alessa into a double agent working for us. It was going well, too, until she turned up dead. Hmm. Maybe the Sith had found out I was turning her and had her eliminated. But let's look at the facts they've given. Alassa was brutally killed. Think about that. She was a Sith, trained in battle, and I'm just a crippled old man. My war injuries make it difficult for me to walk, even to hold things. See how my hands are shaking? How could I kill a Sith warrior at close quarters? I ask you! Further, they say they found my heroes crosser to crime scene. Could I leave my war medal behind if I killed someone? Even I'm not that stupid. Obviously, the Sith planted the cross. And what about the lack of forensic evidence? Skin and hair samples, clothing fibers. Why isn't there anything like that at the crime scene? Sounds like an obvious frame-up to me. I hope you can see how the Sith are manipulating the Cellcat, and probably even you to set up this against me. We need to get this over with quickly and clear my name. Anything else I can help you with? I want my Arbiter to be well prepared before we go to trial. I guess you could interview witnesses at the hotel where the murder happened. The Cellcat already did that, but the... Fish folk don't have much rapport with offloaders. Maybe one of them was holding something back. But I think you'd be better off investigating the Sith themselves. Maybe you could find some proof they planted evidence to frame me. Though that might mean figuring out a way into the Sith embassy. Anything else I can help you with? I want my Arbiter to be well prepared before we go to trial. Go ahead, ask. Ask what you need to. I've got nothing to hide. How would they know? They weren't there. I heard some of the witnesses said that too, but I swear she was alive when I left. I wonder if the Sith have been putting pressure on people to get them to convict me. It wouldn't surprise me at all. They've had it in for me since the war. You should ask everyone about that. They might admit to helping the Sith under pressure. Very well. Once you've gotten enough evidence to go to trial, just tell them. Huh? When I get out of here, you're dead! I'll gut your fishy little corpse, cut off your head, and bathe in your blood! <laughs>
Jolie, may I have a moment? There's something I wish to speak to you about. Yep, I figured it was only a matter of time until we had the whole come back to the order discussion. Well, I guess there's no avoiding it now, so let's get it over with. I know you have issues with the order, but you are a Jedi, Jolie. You command the Force. Without the guidance of the Council, how can you avoid falling to the dark side? Well, I've managed to avoid it the last 20 years or so. Besides, light side, dark side, they don't mean the same to me as they do to you. I don't see it absolutes. I want to stop Malik as much as anyone, but I don't have to join the Order to do it. Look at Karth, or Kandorus. They're with us in this quest, and they are Jedi. Capacity for good or evil, like the Force itself, is in all living creatures. Belonging to the Jedi Order, or the Sith, or any group, won't change what you are at your core. I see you are quite adamant. No doubt you've had ample time to think on this during your long seclusion. I guess it was foolish of me to think I could sway your position so easily. Yeah, I'm old and stubborn. But I appreciate the effort. But from now on, you can just think of me as any other non-Jedi in our little group. With a lightsaber. And force powers. Defending Sunry now, huh? Well, the hotel's open for you. And I guess I gotta answer any questions you want, too. The Sith woman, Alasa, rented a room in the hotel. An hour or two later, Sunry comes in and goes to her room. A couple hours later, I hear a blaster shot and see Sunry running. He can't run good because he's a cripple, but he still was going pretty fast. I would swear he started after the shot, though. Yeah, I'm pretty damn sure he left after the shot went off. No, I don't think so. I mean, it's possible, just barely. But I wouldn't say that to the court. What? Why the hell should I? I'll tell them what I saw and that's it. Now is there anything else you want? Elasa used to rent rooms here every week or so. Then Sunri would come by a couple hours later and stay all night. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what was going on. The Sith woman, Alasa, rented a... He can't run... No, I don't... No. 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 No way I... What? what? Now is the... There were only two other people in the hotel when it happened. One was a Rodian named Glue. Normally I don't let his kind in here. I'm a reputable businessman, you know. But there weren't many people here, so I decided to take a chance. The other is a regular named Feareth Me. He's a Pazak player. Probably an addict, but he claims he's big and don't know anything about him other than anything else. The Sith woman. He can't run. No. What? Now is the... Well... You're the one defending Sun... Elon... It doesn't... No, the other... Don't know anything... Anything... He can't run... No... No, no way... What... You... Well... I'm here. <laughs> You with the cell, Kath? You here to see me about the murder, too? I told the damn fish everything I kn Sunri, I only heard of once or twice in passing. Some sort of old-time war hero against the Sith. Seen him around in the hotel, too. Going to Alas's room always, of course. Kept the rest of the building up half the night with their damn antics, usually. I'm not saying anything like that. What they did in that room, in private, is their business. 
And there isn't any rule against Sith and Republic seeing each other for personal reasons. Although if you think her Sith Master didn't know, you must be fooling yourself. Ah, uh, well, Elasa was a Sith, so of course she'd have to have someone above her. Yeah, I, I didn't see anything. I didn't see any. One hundred credits isn't enough for the kind of trouble... You know, I think I could trust you. Heck, I don't even know why I shouldn't tell you. Well, one time, I saw Alassa coming in wearing this big cloak. I was on my way to my room, and she normally wears stuff like that, so I didn't pay her too much attention. But this time, I accidentally brushed up against her. Accidentally, of course. And her cloak fell open. Now, I don't have any qualms about the Sith. I leave them alone, and they leave me alone. And seeing as how Alassa had a Sith lightsaber under her cloak, I'm not going to poke that hornet's nest. Seems so. But I'm not getting myself in any further with the Sith. I know how ruthless they are. Now that's all I'm going to tell you. I'll testify it to the court, but you aren't going to get anything else out of me. Defending Sunri now, huh? The Sith woman, Alasa. He can't run. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'll tell the court Sunri left before the shot went off. Hmm. I guess this is what they call working the system. Not that I'm objecting. I just hope the Selkath don't find out about it. Now, was there anything else you wanted? Elasa used to rent rooms here. It doesn't... What?
You, Jedi, I hear you are investigating the Sunri murder trial or not. Hmm. This case is not at all what it appears to be. The many currents, might I say, flow beneath the surface. This murder is much more complicated than it may first appear. Sunri and Elasa are proxies for their governments, and both sides want the other to fail. You can see the journey uh, by the footprints. You understand, yes? Mm, dear, dear. I'm saying they both had something to do with it. They've both kept their hands in this from the start. If you want to get to the bottom of this murder, you might seek information from both the Sith and the Republic, likely in their embassies. No, of course not. You think state secrets are for sale on the common market? You would have to be mm -hmm, devious to get what you want. Heed my advice, Jedi, and you may yet find the truths in this murder. Have you managed to retrieve the data from our droid in the Sith base? Time? Hey, if you got a problem, go talk to our uh, uh, Good job in getting the passcode out of him. I was sure he couldn't be broke. Can I help you with anything? The Sith encryption, we've managed, if you think, can I help? Okay. Have you managed to ret top? I'm sorry, I'm on duty, citizen. is the local hey you working for the republic you look like a republic agent i can see the cowardice in your eyes are you threatening me it's illegal to try to start a fight in Otto city constable over here this republic scum is trying to break the peace He's gone. <laughs> Me? I didn't do anything! This is an outrage! A travesty of justice! I'll get you for this, Jedi. The Sith won't stand for this. You're the arbiter in the murder trial. Elasa was a friend of mine. If there's any justice in the galaxy, they'll feed Sunray to the Phyrexans. Shouldn't you be preparing for the trial? What are you doing here? Ha! We know who we have business with. 
If you don't know how to get in, then we don't want anything to do with you. Now back off. Oh, really? You mean someone like you actually has some real purpose inside? Well then, what is it? Hmm. Yes, well, I... I suppose you really do have some business here. Head on in. You there. I don't recognize you. How did you get in here? You! I don't recognize you. I know the face of every Sith on this planet. We'll get to the bottom of this. Commander Gran, report to the security desk immediately. You authorize this person to enter? I don't know them. And their identification doesn't match up. They're spies. What? Sound the alarm! Droids, destroy them! Let's make it out! Thank <laughs> you. 
Get in here! Wait... I recognize you. Lord Malak was most displeased when he learned you had escaped Terrace alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever destroys you. As you wish, my eager apprentices. We shall re- <laughs>
occupied chambers. Thank <laughs> you. 
I hear you've been appointed as arbiter in Sunny's trial. What? Don't insult Madam, I would remind you that I am a general. No. Yes! Yes, he's having an affair. After all these years we've been together, he just... just dropped me like that. He started seeing Alasa last year. I... I had my suspicions, but even though I'm sure that Harlot was only using him, I know he couldn't have killed her. He came and confessed to the affair to me, maybe the Sith woman attacked, but even though he cheated on me, inside he's still the man I loved. This is all a plot to discredit the Republic. Sunri is a victim of a Sith fr Find the real evidence. That's all I ask. You're back. Not that I don't appreciate it. Oh, I grow weary of st Well, I was at the hotel, I admit. I, uh, it was... But let's... Uh, my... Obviously. Anything else I can help you... Very... Once you... Il 
It is a and I will see Sunri is executed for the crime he has committed. He's gone. The man I saw leaving, Sunri, probably left after I heard the blaster shot. The guilt of the accused is apparent even this early in the... You are Feareth Me, the well-known Pazak player. Of course, Feareth Me. Well, I came out into the hallway after hearing the blaster shot and saw Sunri over there limping down the hall. <laughs> A very obvious point, Your Honors. The accused... You mean, actually see him kill her with my own eyes? Well, no, but I don't think there could have been anyone else there. I think it may have been. I mean, you'd have to be pretty stupid to leave something that important lying around, wouldn't you? Well, he was moving pretty fast running away, but yeah, I mean, how could he kill a Sith warrior in combat? Yes, from what I could tell, she carried a lightsaber under that cloak of hers. Objection! That doesn't prove she was a Jedi. Glupor the Rodian, you were staying in the hotel the night of the murder and saw Sun. This is clear that. Don't do it, Lupo. Lies! Slander! I object! You, Elora, are Sunri's lawful wife. Your husband was a hero in the last war between the Sith Empire and the Republic. He was crippled in that war. Do you not believe he'd blame the Sith for his injury? Yes, I guess he would. And there you have motive. Sunri seeks revenge on the Sith for what they did to him and killed Elasa. <laughs> Yes. He fought against the Sith in the last war. He fought bravely and was even awarded the Hero's Cross. I don't know how much that means to the Sith or to your Selkath, your honors. But in the Republic, it is awarded the kind of man who earns that medal. He was a good man, but his injuries pained him terribly. I don't think he could have beaten her or anything like that. But a blaster? I wish to call forth some... Are you a war hero, Mr. Sunry? Yes, that's right. And I don't regret it either. The Republic... Indeed. Would you say that you... Of course I hate them. 
Trying to take over the galaxy every chance they get? Kill pure politics. Were you in Alasa's room? Well, yes. I knew she was a Sith. And she would be trying to pump me for information, of course. So I, I was working on her, trying to turn her over to the Republic side, trying to turn her into a double agent. But that's an obviously false story. I have proof here in the form of data recording. I, I, ah, what's the use now? I had been... You were having an affair with a Sith. You wanted to end... No, I... I think we can see the answer clear enough, Mr. Sunry. Of course she was. Why would a young, beautiful Sith woman get with an old cripple like me? I don't know. The medal had gone missing some time ago. I never found out what happened to it. It's possible the Sith had stolen it and had it planted on the body. Supposition, you're on. Yes, I think they would. They wouldn't want to lose one of their sources, even though I didn't give them anything. They... They might have killed her for her failure. Or they might have thought she'd turn against them or something like that. <laughs> I think the facts in this case are very straightforward. Sunri was having an affair with Elasa. He sought to end it, and the simplest, quickest method, given his hatred of the Sith, was to simply kill her. Witnesses saw Sunri fleeing the scene, and material evidence places him there at the time of the murder as well. I am confident that any inform... Oh, that doesn't mean a thing. The Sith would not leave the medal of her... Objection! No, your honors. I. This is the will of the court, but it doesn't feel like. Sunry. I am not for her. 
Have you managed to retrieve the data from my... Excellent. It does not appear to have been tampered with, so the Sith did not manage to copy its contents yet. And now for your information. We are not supposed to speak of this, but since you are a Jedi and we have exhausted all the other options, I think I can entrust you with this. As you know, the Republic is fighting for its very existence against the evil of the Sith Empire. As you also undoubtedly know, we're doing very... We need much in the way of supplies and material to stem the tide of battle. Manan is the sole source of Kolto, the most powerful... The Selkath conservatives, with their neutrality treaties, seek to treat the Sith. But a few more far-sighted Selkath see that if the Sith are ever allowed to win, the galaxy will be plunged into darkness, and there will be nothing to... So we made a deep... Shh! Not so loud. Yes, it is a technical violation of the treaty. We recently began construction of a secret underground facility to harvest Kolto directly at its source. Current techniques are insufficient for the task, so we must mine it for now. The amount we were nearing completion of the base when the digging teams reported some sort of obstruction. Um, an ancient building. Transmissions from the base were cut off abruptly after that. Please. As you may have noticed, we're hiring a lot of mercenaries around here. When we lost contact with the station in the Hrakert Rift, we sent our contingent of Republic soldiers down to investigate. We've tried hiring mercenaries and sending them down as well, but the reason we really sent that droid underwater, and the reason we needed its data back so badly, was to find out... But now that we have the data back, our operation is in no danger of expo... I took the liberty of having a submarine prepared for your departure. It has been programmed to take you down to the state. I would send soldiers to assist you, but we've lost many of our. The Sith have also noted our int- Please, find out what happened. Good luck in your efforts. for all this stuff, Tybar. Gee, we... Thanks, Tybar.
Are ready to explore the hacker the sub I wish you Thank <laughs> you. 